Welcome to Sheet Metal Tech Tips. Today we'll be covering forming basics. Forming is the process of manufacturing a 3D part from a flat sheet of metal. Forming is a very involved process, but today we will be covering some of the basics, such as the difference between a stamped and formed part, our forming material and size capabilities, and a V-bottoms working area. The main differences between a stamped and formed part are that a stamped part can have curved bends and is bent all at once, while a formed part is consisted of straight bends that are put in one at a time. Unfortunately, we don't fabricate stamped parts because they require customized tooling that come with high costs and long lead times. Tooling for formed parts is standardized and can be used in several applications, making it easier to accommodate your geometry while keeping cost and lead time down. Our formable materials include 304 and 316 stainless steel, 1008 and 1018 cold rolled steel, and 5052 H32 aluminum. Formed parts can be extremely small. The machines we use also give us the capabilities to form larger parts. But all parts must have a flat pattern no larger than 40 by 48 inches. A V-bottom has a working area. This is the space inside the V. This is where the metal is actually bent. It is important to keep all cut through features outside of this area to avoid distortion. Different size bottoms are used in different situations, but a general rule is to keep all cut through features four times the material thickness away from the outside of a bend. You can see that here the hole is placed inside the V-bottom's working area. The metal cannot form correctly, resulting in a distorted hole. This hole is placed outside the working area, which allows the metal to form as it should, leaving the hole with the proper geometry. So remember that we form sheet metal, but do not stamp sheet metal. Parts must have a flat pattern smaller than 40 by 48 inches, and all cut through features should be four times the material thickness away from the outside of a bend. For more information, contact our design team.